guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Okay, guys, so we're going to tie a pike fly. So this one is going to be a simple uh, red and white Buford type fly. So we need a wide gaped hook here to allow for the bulky head on this fly. And I'm going to use the gel spun again. So we'll start that onto the hook. And then add a bit of super glue so that we can wrap into that and secure our tie-ins to the hook without it slipping. So a simple fly. What we're going to do is use a core of uh, silver crystal hair here. We have a bunch that's about nine inches long or so, so I'm going to tie that in with about six to seven inches hanging out the back. And then fold this back on itself. And that gives us the core of the tail. A little bit of super glue. And then we're going to put on some uh, Kinecolon fibers as the uh, bulk of the body. So I have here a bunch that's about 14 inches long or so. So I'm going to double it over and cut it in two. And then that gives me quite a square end. So I'm just going to misalign some of that. Pull the fibers out and throw them back into your hand at different lengths when you catch them again and that just makes the end more of a taper. We set that on again that's about two thirds along its, its weight and get a lap around. This is quite a straight connect line as you can see now we have this the whole way around the shank tighten into that and get on five or six good tight turns. Just splay all this out at this end and get some super glue around this binding both sides of it. And then we use a big straw and just fold everything back. Give it a bit of a pinch. And you can see that now gives us that baitfish type profile. Wrap our thread in front of it and then just secure the base of it with super glue. So we're going to put on a couple of grizzle hackle points here. We'll take two from the same point in the cape so that they're the same length roughly. And then I'm tying one in on each side. So I always like this sort of grizzly barring in this colour pattern of a fly. And then what we'll do is take some red bucktail a small bunch of the long red portion and put that on back to front here get a loose wrap around it and then pull into it and that'll splay and then we can force that back secure it and then if we go back to our bucktail and this time we want to use this pithy sort of deer hair type bit of it here take a big bunch of that because we're looking to create like a big heavy muddler type head on this and then I'm going to put the points forcing our facing backwards I'm going to let it sort of splay around now I want the end of my hook uh, is in the middle of this here and I want 
a good portion of it, maybe two centimeters or so sticking out the front, because if it's two centimeters, that'll give us the radius of the head. So the diameter of the head will then be four centimeters. A loose wrap, and then just pull into that, start to wrap into it, and that. And as I sort of wrap through, bringing me towards the front of the fly. some super glue around our tie off to complete the fly. So if you want you can neaten up that head, uh, depends how fussy I suppose you want to be with the fly. So I'm just using one of these stone flow blade cutters here. It's not 100% necessary, it's only about it creating bulk and movement. So that's our fly tied. So hopefully you like what you see. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out all the other videos on the channel, and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.